Hey guys, what's up? I'm ZBLDS, and welcome back to the next airport update video. Once again, this won't be Minecraft, but should be interesting, none the least, for a couple of reasons. I've actually been working on a couple things, not planes, as I said, it's not Minecraft today, but it is important because it will determine what the airport will be looking like design-wise and how it will be laid out and for that reason but before we do that I think we should open up my notepad here because I haven't shown this to really anyone besides people who have worked with me and I've sent it to them but other than that it's pretty much just been in my position and my position only so I thought I'd show it to you guys okay so I have a little notes for drawing the airport and don't really get why I put drawing. It was this note, these notes right here were more for planes, like actually like designing the planes and blueprints. But I guess we can go through them, zoom to 100%, and have the graph on. I use Photoshop. Have different pictures on paint for each floor of the airport. Oh, oh, I guess it is for the airport too. I haven't read that section in a while, but that's not really the important part. We come down here to plane companies. You can see all the different types of company parodies that I have. And I'm going to try saying it once again. Hopefully this time people will realize I'm doing parodies. So when you think, oh, that when so when people comment, oh, that looks like Delta or you should that looks like Continental or whatever. You should do that instead. Or, you know, I'm not stupid. If I'm able to make these planes, I'm obviously you know, I know what companies they are. So first we have Delta or Aero Airlines for my reasons. And that was the first planes I showed. I think it was the 737-800. I also showed off the A330-300 and the 767-300. And I've shown all of those. And I still have yet to build the MD90 and the 777-200. And if you're wondering what the little 32321 are, that's the number of planes that will be located at the airport, like how many of each. Though yet, I have changed a lot of stuff from when I did this, so it, I probably need to go back and change it again. And then we have Nation United, which you haven't seen anything from it yet. And if you're wondering, yes, I know Continental and United merged, and... The library for United now is basically Continentals. For my airport, though, because I have Oceanic, which is Continental, for MC Airways, I'm going to be doing the second library. It's not the one with the gray. That kind of look if it's similar to Northwest, like the old Northwest library, but it's the one after that, the one with the white and then the different shades of blue through it. So that's the one I'm doing. And then... We go down, ooh, MC Airways, or US Airways. We have a parody of, which is going to have Boeing 737-400, 737-200, and the A320. And then Sunburst, Southwest, Airbus, A300. I'm wondering if I want to keep that, because I know Southwest only has 737s. So I'm debating whether or not I should keep the A300 there. It'd be one less plane to build, so I wouldn't be too upset there. So leave it in the comments if you think I should still have it, because I know Southwest only uses 737s. Then we have Oceanic. You've seen two of the planes, the 787 and the 767. And the last one I have to build is the 737-100 of it. And then this one... I want so bad to get into these planes because it's going to be so much fun to build them. Is Jet Red, a parody of Jet Blue, obviously, which is going to have the Airbus A320, A321, and the Embraer 190. So that should be really fun because I'm going to do all the different tail designs. And I really like them because of that. They do some really cool stuff. Moving on to Freedom Airlines, you've seen the MD-87 and MD-81. All I have left to do there is the 777-200. Full Circle, 
parity of Northwest. I, again, I know they merged Delta, but I'm keeping it because I like them. Which will have the 747-300. I may bump it up, make it more, you know, newer model because I know 300 is getting older. And then the Airbus A321 because Delta actually got all the Airbus planes from Northwest. And then Fed Up is a parody of FedEx. That'll be part of the cargo sector. I may add a parody of UPS as well, but I don't know at the moment. And then I can't remember your name. I'm so sorry. I'll probably have an annotation right now of your name. But remember in the last well, two parts ago, I asked for a parody name for Qantas. And my favorite one so far has been Kanger. Airlines, I think that was genius, actually. I would have never been able to think of that. So, Kanger Airlines, and then parody of, I, I'm pretty sure I'm going to butcher that. I don't know if that's right at the moment. I'll have to go back and check the spelling, but whatever. And then 1A380, because I know a lot of you want the A380 and right now I can't do the version because I don't know which ones they are but we get into the terminals these are inaccurate now actually because well they're inaccurate because I've changed some things since this but you can kind of see terminal A won't be Aero Airlines exclusive one of the others will be because it's Aero Airlines hub and then terminal B probably will be because it's going to be the smaller one but anyways it's going to have jet red sunburst and freedom only two of them that's what the little parentheses of the two is and then terminal c is going to have nation oceanic and mc airways again two of them and then terminal d and this is the only one that's actually um still accurate which is the international terminal and it's going to have mc airways three of them full circle Freedom, and which is going to have three of them, and then now it's going to have Kanger. That's right. And then I have a little website for plans where I get my blueprints. I've been using a little bit different strategy for the last few plans because I found some better ones that weren't on this website. But anyways, if we move on now to the thing I've actually been working on for the past three days. So hopefully you guys enjoy it. Here is the FAA diagram of Diamond International Airport, located in Crystal City, Minecraftia, abbreviation for it is DMA, and then I just threw in some random numbers in here because I needed to put them in there. Because if, if you actually look up an FAA diagram, it's actually very similar to this. The only things I'm missing right now are the um, latitudinal and longitudinal lines. I don't have those yet because I don't know the exact lengths of everything. This is just to get my thoughts out and to plan out where everything is and what everything is going to be like. So let me give you the little tour through it. Here's Terminal A. It's just a top-down view right now. You can't really see it. In fact, if I pull up this picture again, I'm, I'll give someone a shout out for the first person that comments on the video and can name what like airport this is like supposedly going to be planned at or built because right now this is just kind of a um I don't know what do you want to call it mm, can't think of it I'll think of it in a bit but yeah for the person who can name the airport that that's located at I will give them a shout out in the next video Anyways, so yeah, there's that design, which is the similar one to the picture I showed, and then I made my own, which kind of goes in the same styling. I like it. It's hard to it's, it's hard to see what it's going to be like. The building actually isn't going to go, like, point out like that. It's just part of, like, the visor that goes over it. And then all these little bumps aren't actually building going out. They're just little sun visors that go over the windows and the gates. So, I guess now it's time for the little tour. Here's runway 1331. It goes 
from, if I can remember my cardinal directions, because this is north right here. It's going 45 degrees west to east, so this way is west, the way my cursor is going, east over here towards the south. And then we have two parallel runways, 27 left and right, and then the other way, 09 and 9 right. And they just go in the west and east direction. This way going east, this way going west. And then right here we have the largest runway. This is more for cargo and international because, let's face it, usually when you're going cross countries and stuff, in, you know, borders, they usually have bigger planes flying to and from. And especially because the um, air freight cargo terminal shares that runway with it. And then we have MC Customs, kind of a parody of US Customs because it's Minecraftia. And it's just, you know, when you're going in an international terminal, if you're from somewhere else, you have to go through Customs. Fire Station number three, along with one and two. Just follow my cursor around. <clears throat> General Aviation Building. This is, again, the cargo freight terminal where right now FedOp is located. Maybe UPS, don't know yet. Center control tower, east control tower, west control tower. And then we have the hangars for Aero Airlines. I don't know if you've ever been to an airport. A good example I can think of is um, MSP, Minneapolis St. Paul International Airport. They actually have hangars, and that's where they keep like their Delta planes and stuff. While like you know they're repairing them or you know doing different things with them, they store them in the hangars. So that's what those are. This building, haven't decided what it's going to be yet, but I kind of like a building right there. Same with these and these. These I know are like just cargo storage buildings. Taxiways. Took me a while to actually get the designs right and the ones that I liked for it. But I think... I think that's it, really. That's all the work. And I guess now it's a good time to tell you the surprise for all you beggars out there that have wanted me to do a tutorial, I will be doing one for my next plane. I figured if I don't really want to build a plane right now, I actually wouldn't mind doing a tutorial for one and building one for the tutorial. So if you guys are wondering which one I'll be building for the tutorial, it will be MC Airways 757-200. So look forward to that. And don't get your hopes up too much, because I'll make it so that it'll be hard, kind of, to build it along with me. In a way, because I'll be skipping around to doing different things. Just, I don't want it to be the exact same planes. I really don't want to get the planes, like my exact ones, out there. But I should, because I'm going to go through my the way I do it. I How I put it into Photoshop. How I, you know, make the blueprints in Photoshop. And then how I basically make the planes in Minecraft using those blueprints and like kind of what some of my um, tricks are and kind of you know how I do it but other than that I think that's it for this video look forward to that and the thousand subscribers special I know I've been gone I was on vacation so that's why it's been a really long time since any videos and it's like what summer you should have more videos out than you did in you know school and I will I will it's just I had a vacation and I can't make videos on the vacation but other than that, thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you on the tutorial and 1,000 subscribers special. Should be out next Wednesday. We're recording on Sunday. Thanks, guys. See ya.